So we're, we're down here in the Castle Cliff basketball courts this morning and don't they just look amazing? It's, uh, it's incredible what, what's been achieved and how good this design looks on the ground. Um, big ups to Fleet Line Marking for the sponsorship and, and being, being the, one of the progenitors of this. Um, I'll go back to where it actually started was um, I got a call from a mate Moo who had come down to jumpstart a car and the guys had been down in the park with their headlights on the, on the skate ball so that kids could skate after 5pm in the middle of the night and they were like, it's a bit rubbish that there's no lighting down here. So that's when we just started to get interested in the, in the park and engage with um, people who actually come down here and play ball, who skate, who actually uh, are here with their families and grew up with the park. So it's connecting those two bits with likes uh, through Progress Castle Cliff and particularly Naringa and Waiwai with council and others who can make things happen in the park. And it's actually been a pure pleasure, well, a lot of work, but a pure pleasure to do it um, because it's really so rewarding. One of the things, early things we did was the basketball hoops were actually locked up way too high for the shorties to score hoops. So a bit of searching and we found out who had the key. Um, that was Port Wanganui and they trusted us and we trusted the locals who were down in here so we gave them the keys. Um, yeah, there was a bit of nervousness, would people hang off the hoops, would they not get respected? Um, but what we know about Castle Cliff is if you empower people, if you make them feel that they own it, it gets respected. And that's what's happened. Um, the basketball court use from, from the shorties exploded. Um, they were so happy that they had um, access that they could actually do hoops at their height. And then Fleet came along with the idea of marking up the court, and here we are. It's amazing. And we're not stopping at that. There's more, and there'll be uh, more pronouncements about lighting up the park and actually achieving that um, after dark lighting. Um, yeah. G'day guys, my name's Caleb from Fleet Australasia. We're down here at the Castle Cliff Domain where we're helping fund an awesome community project uh, alongside other Castle Cliff leaders. Um, how it come about is this is one of the courts that we mark. Uh, we marked it one afternoon and then kids decided to have a game of basketball on it straight after so the paint went a bit everywhere and uh, we've seen an opportunity um, that maybe we could engage the community and engage an artist being Mike Marsh and um, do a mural type design across the whole court. Uh, so how this idea come about is uh, we follow line markers all over the world and we had noticed a, a trend of basketball courts being painted in full, there's also some around New Zealand and it's a really cool concept and it, it looks amazing within a community. Uh, so we, being our local community here in Castle Cliff, we thought it would be an awesome idea and something to showcase and hopefully bring people into this area of town. Kira, I'm Mike Marsh and I'm a local Wanganui artist. Um, I am currently working on painting this basketball court and <clears throat> it's a cool project that came about um, through a number of different channels but it's part of the Power Up the Park uh, project which is getting power and stuff into the park and making it a safer place for the community to be. I got approached by I think Progress Castle Cliff I suppose and uh, they said, are you interested in doing this? I said, yes. And I don't think I regret it. Uh, it's pretty fun. <clears throat> uh, it was cool to work with uh, some of the local tamariki uh, on the design process. They submitted uh, a variety of designs. And then from those, I was able to pick out elements from different ones that I felt were really good. And then kind of bring it all together in one design. So this is kind of what we've ended up with. Um, what we've got is uh, the maunga, the mountain, and we've got the river where it meets the uh, mountain, the awa, uh, leading out to the moana, the ocean. And so it sort of represents uh, Ruapehu through the, uh, the ocean out here. And uh, I've tried to incorporate other elements such as the sun and the moon 
and <coughs> the rainbow uh, motif and yeah just trying to make it fun and bright and inclusive uh,